Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can use Excel to evaluate a range of data, determine what row that we want to evaluate, and then looking within that row, figuring out certain values and finding out what columns that value or those values are in. And if there are multiple ones, I want Excel to generate a list of all the column headers that contain that value. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a data set here that just has random numbers from 1 to 10. In column C, I have January through December. And in D through J, row 2, I have Monday through Sunday. And what I want to do is in A6 through A12, I want a list of all the column headers Monday through Sunday in which in that month that value appears. So I have a data validation drop down list here that I can choose the various months and I can choose various values from 1 through 10. Now if we look at January and look for value 1 you can see that nothing appears. But if I change this to a 9 Notice I get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday because those are the column headers where the value 9 appears in the row for January. And I can change any one of these. I can go down and choose, for example, November, and it only gives me a Tuesday, again, because that's the only column where the number 9 appears. So let's go back and put January in there so we have several results. Now here's the formula I used. I've wrapped an index function in the if error function so that instead of getting errors down where there would be no matches, instead I just inserted a blank. And here is the list of functions that we use. If error index, in fact we used index twice here, small if match column and row. So let's walk through the very first formula here and see how it works. As I indicated, I wrapped my formula in an if error function. Now notice there's also curly brackets around it. That's because this is an array formula. And with an array formula, you need to enter it with control shift enter, not just enter. Because with an array formula, Excel is not just comparing one value to a list or an array. It's comparing multiple values to another multiple value. So it's doing a whole series of calculations and evaluations. That's why we need to enter this with control shift and enter. So there's my if error function. Within that, I have an index function. Now index, you have an array, a row number, and a column number. My array is D2 to J2, which is my list of Monday through Sunday. My row number is the value 1 because there's only one row in that data set for the index or in that array. And my column number, that's determined by the bulk of the formula, the small if, index, match, etc. So we need to walk through that to see how that's going to work. So let's take a look at the small function. The small function only has two arguments in the syntax, an array and a k number. The array, again, is determined by the bulk of this formula. And then the k number is saying, do you want the first smallest, second smallest, third smallest, etc.? You notice as I copy this down, in the very first entry, I have row 1, 1, the second row 2, 2, the third row 3, 3, etc. So if I highlighted that, all that K number is going to do is return a 1, 2, or 3. So that's going to give me this first smallest, second smallest, third smallest, etc. within the array that's going to be determined by the if index match, etc. the rest of the functions. So let's take a look at the if function. The if function says, here's my logical test. The value of true is basically return the column numbers. And then we're just going to match those up. So my logical test says, let's take a look at this array, D3 to J14. That's the bulk of the values here. My row number is matching A3, which is where I have my drop-down list here indicating the month, within C3 to C14. So that's determining the row, and then the column isn't necessary. So we're using the index function to say, okay, 
Let's figure out what row we want by the match function and then let's find where the value 9 appears. So let's just walk through this if statement here and follow through how it determines the list of values for the small function to say it's the first smallest, second smallest, third smallest, etc. And to do that, we're going to use under the formula tab of the ribbon the evaluate formula function here. And we're going to use our third selection here where we ended up with Wednesday. So selecting that formula or that cell A8 where that formula appears, I'm going to click on Evaluate Formula. And we're just going to walk through this so you can see exactly how this function and this formula is working. The first thing Excel wants to do is say, in my match function, what is A3? Well, in this case, it's the month, so it should return January there. Okay, so match January within C3 to C14, and that's my list of months. So if I match that, I get the result of 1. So my index says, look at my index D3 through J14 and give me row 1. If I evaluate that, notice row 1 for January is 9995239. That exactly matches my values here. So it returned for me the row that I wanted to look in, which is January, and it says if any of those equals B3, which in this case is a 9, then return the column numbers. So B3 should evaluate or return a 9. So if those equal 9, and in that case I get a true, 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 false, 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 true, then return the column numbers. The column numbers are just basically 1 through 7. That's why I picked A through G. That gives me 7 columns. So if those trues return column numbers 1 through 7, I resolve that and I get 1, 2, 3, false, 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 7. And now we're going to look at the small function. So the small function, that is my list or my array, and row 3, 3 says give me the third smallest. So if I have 1, 2, 3, false, 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 7, my third smallest should be 1, 2, I should get a 3 as the result of that and in this case I do. And so I have my index function D2 to J2 which is the column headers Monday through Sunday row 1 column 3 and that resolves to Wednesday. Is that an error? No. So the result is give me a Wednesday and I close that and where that function is it gave me a Wednesday. If I ran through the next one I would pretty much get the same result except it would give me the fourth smallest, which was Sunday. I'm going to do this a little quicker, but you can see ultimately I get 1, 2, 3, false, 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 7 with a row 4, 4, which is going to say give me the fourth smallest in that group. That fourth smallest is a 7, index D2 through J2, row 1, column 7. I get Sunday, and that is the result I get there. So basically what we've done here is looked in the month of whatever we indicate in cell A3 and in looking in that month see which columns match up with the value I have and then as I pull this down it's going to give me the first, second, third, fourth, etc. smallest number using the small function and that will return the header from that original index function. I hope this found this useful, and that's how you can do this in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day, and happy Excelling.